Hi, bud. Thank you, boy. Good morning, everybody. It's Brittany here at Big Cat Rescue in Tampa, Florida, and this is Shiloh. He was calling at me, so I decided we must start with Shiloh. Give you all a moment to join in and share this to alert other people that we are live. Oh, there he goes. Today it was the final day for our Panicure treatment, which is a quarterly deworming, and the cats really dislike it. <laughs> but today was the last day of it, and it's very important that they get it. And from my understanding, it was successful with everyone. Let's pop over here and see Frankie really quickly. Good morning, everybody. Hi, Frankie. Where's your neighbor? Where's Gil? Oh, I see Gil. This is Frankie Bobcat, and I don't know, can you guys spot Gil again? He's right in the middle of the screen. Just blending in. Some ear tufts right there. That's a Gil again. Gilly Gills. <laughs> oh, thank you, Bernice, for the donation. All right, there's Gilligan. Here's Frankie. So a lot of the cats that are pretty shy and reserved are still out begging for food because when we do panic here, we have to do a small amount of food for three days in a row to ensure that they get the full dose. And so today was the last day, so starting this afternoon, we'll be able to be little snack fairies again, handing out all the snacks. You can go back to doing operant, and tomorrow everybody starts back on full diets. So I wanted to give you all a second to join and share and make sure that you were all here. Um, so an update on Kali. You know that yesterday um, she was refusing food and medications and she wouldn't come over to the side and Afton and I got a big boomer ball out and we rolled it down the side of vacation and we're running with it and she got up and chased us and we got her up into the roof section of vacation rotation and that is where she is going to stay for a little bit. She did take her, her all of her evening meds which was a huge amount small girl um so we started her on an antibiotic hi lady oh my goodness hi pumpkin yes and then this morning um with marie she eagerly took her morning med so in a couple of hours we'll offer her a couple pounds of food and see how it goes hi I missed you. I did not even get a chance to see you yesterday. I don't like days where I don't see my smalls. Yeah. Hi, pumpkin. So yeah, she, uh, Kali does seem like she perked up a little bit. So we're hoping that first big dose of her antibiotic is helping. Justin, from all of our observations and everything that we've been turning into Dr. Justin, um, the vet group is thinking maybe she might have something like a UTI or something like that. Um, obviously, without a urine sample, we wouldn't know for sure, but we've gotten her fecal back and she was negative for everything. So that rules out any kind of parasites and things like that. So it's just gonna be a wait and see. We'll get a couple rounds of medication into her and everybody just keeps sending positive thoughts for Kali. And I was just talking to Afton. I was getting the 
the, yes, I know, the lowdown on cat moves tomorrow because it's been two weeks since Nala Serval went on funcation. And she will be coming home and she'll be going back to her home enclosure. But it sounds like we're moving some cats around. So from my understanding, Beecher is going to go on funcation. And so Beecher will be on funcation. And while he's on funcation, somebody's going to be moving into his lakeside home. And then when Beecher comes out of Funcation, he is going to be moving locations in the sanctuary. So I won't put all the details out there because you guys have to have surprises in life sometimes. Also, <laughs> because things might change. So if I tell you one thing now and you set it in stone, it might be different later. So Beecher should be going on Funcation tomorrow. And... Nala will be coming home. Sweet lady. But this is Smalls. Smalls doesn't like going on funcation. That's why she got her own playground. Yeah. That's why we don't have to move you. I know. You're so sweet. Hey, sweet lady. <laughs> you don't put your face out. So that should be what's happening tomorrow. And then I think next week, Dr. Justin should be coming in because Angel should be due for her rabies vaccine. And while he's here, that's probably when we'll get to do vaccines for Cyrus and Chaos and then move them to their new locations. So we are always doing something. Busy, busy. Always busy. Yeah, I think Beecher will enjoy it out there as well. I know. Are you getting zoomy? Are we getting zoomy? And we may start to try to hand out some pumpkins. Afton's supposed to be going pumpkin shopping now that we've had a little bit of time to fundraise for pumpkins. And so we might start with some of the big guys tomorrow. That's what takes the longest since we have to shift cats and slowly but surely go in. Oh my goodness, I can't even keep up with her when she does that. Slowly but surely go into the enclosures to put the pumpkins in, so it's quite the process. Hopefully we'll be able to start on all of that tomorrow. Jenna Smalls is six years old. She's just a little pumpkin. <laughs> Where'd you find that log? Whoop. Just like a big hunk of wood in there. Where'd you get that? You dug that out from somewhere. You dug that out from somewhere. <laughs> just got such a sassy walk. So sassy. You're so sassy. Do you ever use that front one? You see her in this little house all the time. Am I supposed to be following? <laughs> You're getting very hyper. I can hear her purring. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> she is very fast. I can't even keep up with you. You're like a bunny. Just hopping everywhere. Where'd you get that log? Where'd you get that log? It's just like a hunk of petrified wood right there. You better come back over here. I'm gonna see if 
she comes back. So good to see her finally have settled in. This was the shortest amount of time it took her to adjust to a big change, so it makes me really, really happy. Where'd you go? Keep waiting for like the ferns to just explode. <laughs> there she is. You're not digging again, are you, my lady? <laughs> oh boy. As long as she's in this mood, I don't want to go away. I like that she's got the wind up her tail. That's funny. That's the truth. She's going nuts this morning. Oh my goodness, lady. I've been so worried about Kali. I feel like I'm not focused on anything else. So it's really nice to come over here and see my girl. across and see the boys because I'm gonna have to walk all the way around she doesn't have an easy like cut through access <laughs> we're just going the distance this morning aren't we honey this is probably where you got your log thank you Anne. thank you so much to the three of you that have donated so far this morning 100% of your donations goes to the care of these cats. What's in here? Do you like that one? I've seen you in that one before. <laughs> She's got so much energy, she just doesn't know what to do with it. Should we go see what the boys are doing? Uh, Andrea, thanks for asking about if there will be a Sunday tour. That is something I was going to talk about and I totally forgot. So I'm actually not sure. <laughs> um, we need somebody to fill in to do um, Sunday morning meds. So I volunteered to do that, which is fine because the meds would be done before we would do a tour anyway. However, we also seem to be short on keepers. So I don't have anyone signed up as a guide to give a tour this Sunday. So my thought <laughs> was once I'm finished doing morning meds, I will most likely just do a normal walkabout like this. Just walk around and see some cats. And if we see some keepers doing things along the way, then that's probably what it'll be, but it won't be necessarily a keeper tour or a feeding tour this time around. All right, babe, I'm gonna go across the street and see the boys. What do you think? So either way, weather permitting, I'll make sure there's some sort of live on Sunday morning. I just, as of right now, I don't know if we'll have a guide and I don't know if we will <laughs> um, be doing like a specialty tour or if it'll just be a regular walkabout. Wow. What's that? You are very floofy, ma'am.
you're in the position to take off again. Either that or just take a nap. <laughs> Cassie, I would love that. Yeah, we've kind of run through our uh, our tour guides at this point. There's not too many left that you haven't seen. Oh my goodness. She just attacked a leaf that was falling out of that tree. And of course my stabilizer didn't move fast enough. Um, I could probably give a specialty tour, but then I would need to find somebody who's qualified to go behind all the barricades with me to man the camera. So we'll get it figured out. Worst case scenario, you're still gonna see some cats on Sunday. You might just not be getting a formal tour. Let's see. I see a biscuit. Look at that floofy biscuit. Oh, how'd you get up there? She's on the roof of it now. You guys got so floofy. Look at that floofy biscuit right there. <laughs> Even Flint's looking fluffier. Thank you, Janet, for the donation. I see somebody requested to see Cricket. I can probably do that. We'll stop here at the boys real quick and then we will head down and see Cricket. She's on the same little road. Hi, sir. I'm on the wrong side to show them your floofy belly. Hi. Hi, cuteness. This is Nabisco. Where's your buddy? Where's your buddy? He's waiting to have access back to his buddy. Any cats that do share space here at Big Cat Rescue, we do separate them at feeding time, during operant, or for enrichment. So that they never feel like they have to fight each other or compete for the same toy or the same food. There's a Flintster. Here's Flint. Hi, sir. Still just a lanky teenager, aren't ya? And so after they've had breakfast, when the cleaners come around, they will open these two back up after they've made sure there's no food or nothing still in the enclosure they might want to fight over. Hi, cute boy. See, I have a full belly. I'm not getting up. And then you get so fluffy. It's so, so funny how they just, overnight, it's like they triple in size. Oh, Pharaoh's over there scratching his tree in the background. Well, we can't be over here and not go say hi to Pharaoh. All right, Pharaoh and then Cricket. <laughs> Thank you to everybody who's answering questions and repeating all the things that I told you guys already so far, so I don't have to repeat myself 30 times. <laughs> I know people come and go on these lives, but I be a pretty boring live for the people that are here the whole time to hear me say the same 10 things over and over again. Hi, hon. Meow. Meow. You're looking very white today. Yeah, this is Pharaoh. Mr. Farrow is 21 years old. He's got some severe arthritis, but it doesn't stop him from his old man zoomies and his scratching of his tree. He's waiting on breakfast. Although I think you already had part of your breakfast. When, um, when they're a meds cat, they get a morning snack and then they get breakfast and then they get an evening snack. Yeah, hi sweet boy. Thanks for that. I'm glad in your old age you've been a little less good at aiming. <laughs> 
Pharaoh was the first cat to ever mark me as his own here at Big Cat Rescue. And when I say that, I mean he's the first one that ever peed on me. All right, bye. See you later. And he still tries. Just luckily he tends to go right beside me instead of <laughs> on me. <laughs> Big cats mark their territory by scratching, urinating, and spraying, biting, and rubbing on everything. And some people will take some of those things as affection or aggression, but really it's just a natural instinct for them to mark their territory. If you guys have just joined in, we've seen Shiloh, we got some smalls zoomies, we've seen a Nabisco and a Flint, and a little bit of Pharaoh. There's been some updates on some of the cats and a little teaser for some things that are going to happen tomorrow. So if you came in late, you can rewatch this at dailybigcat.com. That's our secondary YouTube channel with all of our like unscripted videos. I don't think they ever were able to build the tunnel that they wanted to build for Nala. So Nala has those back enclosures and they wanted to connect them to this front one. Unless they plan to do that today, the downfall is this week we've gotten a lot of unexpected rain. So here's Miss Cricket, that's her sign. And there she is in all her glory over here. Hi, pretty girl. Mow. Mow. Hi, Cricket. Hi, sweet lady. I know I don't have any. I don't have any treats. I'm sorry. So, Cricket Serval. Most of you that have heard her story know how shocking it sounds. <laughs> But she was previously owned as a pet, and her pet owner was um, living the vegan lifestyle and thought that the cat should too. So unfortunately, during all of the most important years of growth and development, Cricket was on a vegetable diet when she's 100% a, a carnivore, so it caused a lot of deformities. She definitely had some broken bones that either weren't, weren't repaired or they just healed in really strange ways. But she does, she's got a curly tail, which some of our other servals do too. Hutch kind of has one. Anytime that you raise a wild cat that's supposed to be eating meat and you put them on like domestic cat foods, or again, vegetables, they're not getting what they really need. Uh, there's no need to be worried about Nikita. I saw that all caps something about Nikita. She's doing fine. Her camera is just still down and I have no idea what the update is on that. But she does have two other cameras. So her feeding lockout camera and actually there's two in that area. But Nikki's doing fine. Miss Cricket. But she's also on a pain management system here, so she's actually quite comfortable. She can beat you to the lockout when she knows it's breakfast time, that's for sure. It'd be a very peaceful scene if there wasn't a siren in the background. My understanding, obviously I've been here over five years now, but prior to that was that Big Cat was pretty much surrounded by nothing at one point. <laughs> now there's a mall and a expressway and all kinds of stuff. Here's a Sheena. Hi, babe. 
Are you watching Smalls with her zoomies? Melissa, I'm glad you're asking about our cages. So because it's really difficult for you to actually tell how big our cages are, I, for the last two or three months, <laughs> have been trying to walk around every single enclosure and I'm calling them home tours and they're at dailybigcat.com. So I'm not gonna do that right now because I've been doing this for a few months now, <laughs> but you can go check those out and there is I think we're up to 30 now. There will be one that posts today as well. Thank you, Nick, for the donation. And um, that should help answer some questions for you. It is impossible for me to show you the enclosures in their entirety from one view. <laughs> so you have to walk the entire enclosure. I get over 15,000 steps a day um, when I clean because you're walking all of the enclosures in a section and there's four different sections. We're on 67 acres with about 50 cats. But dailybigcat.com has a home tour playlist and I literally break down every enclosure for you. I walk them end to end and I show you all the different features. So all the platforms, all the dens, all the water bowls. Here's Nikita in the far off distance. So that was Sheena and Cricket. I believe the home tour that probably posted about 12 minutes ago is uh, this week's for Diablo. And if it doesn't rain all afternoon, hopefully I can get a couple more done for next week. They post on Mondays and Wednesdays. Hi, Chach. Hi, Chach. Come here, sir. Hi. Hi, my buddy. Hi, cute boy. I know, I don't have snacks though, I'm sorry. I don't have the snacks right now. Hi, cute boy. This is Hutch. A little bit of a curly tail on Hutch, and he has a really, really bad knee, unfortunately. Again, probably from being raised on domestic cat foods. Are you ready to get your pumpkin this year? Actually, he got a gourd last year, and he really, really loved that although Afton said she's having a really hard time actually finding the gourds we probably should have bought them a couple weeks ago but we were still fundraising for them we're also operating on a skeleton crew as far as staff goes so everybody's got like a handful of different jobs right now it can be really hard to make time for all of it hi wow you don't got much to say today. Oh, he's making some biscuits. Making some biscuits. <laughs> well, thank you to everybody who joined us today. It looked like there were a lot of newcomers. So if you are new to us and you have questions, please reach out to us. We have a Facebook group for Big Cat Rescue. We are on Instagram and TikTok and Twitter. And we obviously are on Facebook and we do Facebook Lives all the time. Our main YouTube channel is BigCatTV.com. And if you didn't see the final chapter of Aria Tiger's story, that posted yesterday and it's a tearjerker. So you can find that at BigCatTV.com. And then again, if you want to rewatch these lives, you want to watch this one from the beginning for updates on some cat moves and Kali Tiger, you can do that. As soon as this ends, it posts automatically on our Facebook page. And it's at dailybigcat.com and a Q&A with Brittany playlist. 
I really, really appreciate the five of you that have donated today. That's so very important to the cats since we are no longer open to the public for guided tours due to COVID-19. So you guys are very much appreciated. Thank you and I hope you guys have a great day and pray to the rain gods that tomorrow works out well so that we can do some fun enrichment and some cat moves and that I'll be able to film it. So I will see you guys again soon.